Hey everybody, welcome to another slope code video. This time we bring you the top 10 Sakamichi photo books. As we know, idols are not unfamiliar to the photo book game, but Sakamichi has been tearing it up and releasing hundreds of thousands of photo books. And we are here to discuss as fans and sort of as our hobby being photography, we kind of like photo books. So we look at it from both angles and decide which are the top 10 photo books. Now to explain the point system a little bit, we rate it individually. The top photo book for us gets 49 points and run down the list to one point. And then we take all those numbers together, add them all up, and we decide what the top 10 are accumulatively. Yeah, so most of you probably already know us from the Slow Podcast, but we do a weekly podcast where we cover the Sakamichi series idol group. So we, you know, we've generally talked about most of these photo books as they came out. Oh, and so because it is a point scoring system, the the top 10 that exist here isn't necessarily any of our individual top 10s. So it might not be your top 10, but if you have a different opinion, don't just get mad. You can always let us know what you think down in the comments down below. We'd love to hear where you think some of these books should lie. Did we did we rank one higher than you thought? Lower than you thought? Who who got snuffed, dude? Number 10. Demo Shiranai Watashi. Yumaizumi Yui, she was a member of Kiyaki Zaka 46. She was actually the first to graduate from the group. The location was in Napoli. You know, Sakamichi series is pretty well known to have their photo shoots be outside of Japan. Work with uh, photographer Nakamura Kazutaka. But this one, if you follow Idol Photo Books, you know who this you guy is. You know who this Threw her to the lions right to the first photo book, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I forgot how good this book was. I, I kind of ranked it based on like my, my memory of it, and so my thinking was that like a lot of the appeal to the book was just like how good Imaizumi Yui looks. I feel like this is like that perfect storm where of course she does look really good, but the photography really accents it. Yeah, for me, I thought this is very fresh, very warm, very fun feeling, and I think it really lets her personality shine through the photos. Like even though they're pretty simple photos. I feel like the photography is strong enough where it just lets her shine a little bit more. Number nine. Decision. Doko Niiru no Seijan na Otona. So for number nine, there's actually a three-way tie. So let me start off with decisions. This one was shot by Yuya Shimahara. And this is actually shot in Northern Europe and Iceland. This one has really great images. I think the pre-production was really well done in here. You can tell it was all planned. All the lighting in here is gorgeous. All the props they use. Everything about this is super good. I just think if the other half wasn't more of a photo book, then I think this could have gone higher in my reading. I gave the book 40, Josh gave it 38, and Boy gave it 31. For me, it was like a lot of very aesthetic pictures that I would have expected from Etomisa. But yeah, the, the fact that it was also like a photo book with like, you know, little articles and interviews at the end and not just straight photos kind of uh, bumped it down a bit. The next one on number nine is uh, Shinuchi Mai's Doko ni Iru no. It's uh, shot in Thailand. Photographer is Sato Yoichi. It's a very travel oriented photo book. And for me personally, when they go to these places overseas, uh, I, I really want to see like a good representation of that location. And uh, this book really did that. She goes to watch a, a Thai boxing match and stuff in the book. The colors are nice too. Yeah, so this book ended up getting 26 points for myself, 39 from Josh, and 44 from Boy. To finish out the three-way tie is, uh, of course, Shiraishi Mai Seiju Naotona. This was the first solo photo book from any Sakamichi series member. We, we don't know where it was shot. <laughs> could have been in Japan, could have been Mayan's hometown or something. It was shot by uh, Shinoyama Kishi, who's a pretty popular uh, Japanese photographer. As a, as a non-Mayan Oshi, uh, I think it was pretty exciting for me to get this photo book when it first came out. A lot of the, the photo books to me were very uh, pretty girls out on some pretty location. And of course you get that here too, but you also get a lot more variety in photos with Mayan's first photo book. 
before anybody else did it, Mayan had a lot of very interesting ones, like different styles of photography. You got some very high contrast fashion style photos, as well as like your out on the beach photo book stuff. I think that's probably why I rated it as highly as I did. I am also a Mayan Oshi, but uh, compared to Boy and Jimmy, who put this in their top 10 list, uh, this is actually dead smack in the middle of all the Sakamichi photo books for me. Now, the reason for that is because I feel like... Now, this came out when I was already a fan, so this had, this had been out for a while. And looking at the photo book, I feel like it kind of had two themes to it, and I feel like it was too flip-floppy between the two themes of like dark inside and then bright outside and then moody photos at the end. I kind of prefer like the moodier, more inside photos than like the outside because they seem kind of generic to me or a little safe. Number eight, Coco Kara. So this, this book was shot by Hosoi Kojiro. Uh, this was shot in her hometown of Nagasaki. I gave this book 35, so did Boy, but Josh gave it 41. The highlights of it was just Nagahama Neru herself. The photography didn't really stand out to me. And that's, so I think that's kind of why it didn't rank up much higher. Not to say it was bad, it just was, it was, it was high, it was high. Well, for me, I think the thing that separates this photo book from others is the composition of the photos and the layout they did for this photo book. I think it had really good composition. And if you look at the layouts, like left to right, I think they did some really unique stuff in it. Number seven, Mukuchi. All right, number seven is Mukuchi by Watanabe Risa. She is my Kiyakizaka Oshi, photographed by Kuramoto Gori. And uh, she went down to Guam and the Bahamas to shoot this. I obviously gave it a high score of 47. Uh, Jimmy gave it a 44. Still pretty high, but Josh gave it a 22. Explain yourself, man. <laughs> Yeah, with this photo book, I feel like they went with more in the moment, kind of going along with her feel. Like, I feel like the lighting could have taken a little bit more of a precedence in this photo book. I, I went totally on, on feel on this one. Uh, this is like what I look for when I want to see if an idol's photo book. It's really fun and bright and vibrant. There's a lot of cute facial expressions and it shows that, yes, she did travel to these places. I think there's something to be said about the colors in this photo book. It's a very saturated, colorful book. And uh, that's something I like in my photography. So that's where I ranked it. Where I did. Number six, Shizun. Now this photo book is shot by Sanpei Yasutomo. And this is actually shot in Portland. Now, Jimmy gave this a nice score of 43. And I also gave it a nice score of 43. And Boy gave it a 38. Sakurai Rika, this was the uh, photo book that was released. Right before she graduated from Nogizaka, her second one. It's cool that she came to the West Coast. Looks really good in it. I think for me, the thing that I like about this is the paper quality and how good the photos look with this paper. I mean, the post-processing on this is so good and the paper just adds to it like 10 times. And plus the Rembrandt lighting, it's like a lot of Rembrandt lighting in here, which is my favorite. So that just got bonus points for me. Number five, Ichiku no Machiwa Seibasho. Horimiona, coming up strong, recovering from her first photo book attempt with a strong second photo book. This was shot by Takeo Deck out in France. Uh, we've got 45 points for myself and boy, and 37 for Mr. Box. Very good, especially I think all of us compared it to her first one, which was a disaster. But you know, Horimiona, very visual member of Nogizaka, right? Like, it should not be hard to have a good looking photo book with Hori Miona as the model, right? I think that's our issue with the first one. This one actually takes the fact that she's a very attractive young lady, but enhances it with like very beautiful shots of the location. Um, I like the, the, the post-processing on a lot, of the, a lot of these photos. It's like nice contrast and saturation. The stylist did an amazing job. All the outfits look really great. Uh, you can find information about that at the end of the photo book too for, you know, all my people trying to dress like Hori Miona. I think, especially looking at the first one, this redeemed itself so much. And I even like the black, white, red theme it has. If you like flip through the photo book, you'll see like it revolves around those colors, which I think was really well planned. Number four, Nisen Junana 2017. Number four, Hashimoto Nanami's 2017, the year she graduated from oh. Osaka, right? 
right? Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this was shot in New York City in the winter by Imajo June. And uh, I gave this a 43. Josh gave it a 46. And Jimmy gave it the 49. I feel like, okay, obviously the, the photography, there's it wouldn't be so high if I didn't like it. Um, I think there, there's, I can see why there are some things that people may not like about it. It's got some very kind of cheap flash kind of photography and stuff like that in there as well. But I feel like it is such a good job of getting a nostalgic vibe in a photo book. Like I've never met Hashimoto Nanami, nor have I ever gone to New York in the winter. But I'm going through this photo book like, oh man, longing, longing for these memories that I don't have. And I feel like that's an artistic quality that's very important in a photo book. How, how it can elicit a feeling and emotion in you. Yeah, I think I think what really helps like create this kind of vibe or mood is the photographer's style really working well with the winter of New York. And plus, Nanamine just going out there knowing this is her final photo book and just working so well with the photographer. I think you get really a sense of that in the photo book, which is why it ranks so high. Number three, Ni Juichi Ni No Mekansei. What's better than one photo book, guys? 21 photo books in one. This is the thickest book uh, on the list. This was um, obviously shot by various photographers and that's one of the uh, most unique things about this book. All 21 members of Keiakizaka paired with 21 different photographers. This is kind of the last hurrah of original Keiakizaka. I gave this a 48. Josh gave this a 45 and then Jimmy gave this a 47. If you can't decide which Kiyaki Zaka photo book to get, this is like the one I think you should get because it just has a little bit of everything in it. So many different styles in here. Like you have Nagasawa with their weird but cool concept, Sugai with their weird backgrounds and costumes, Habu being the model, which I think is all of our favorite photo collections. I think if anyone is like an aspiring photographer or even just a hobbyist, this is a great book to have to use as reference material because there's so many different styles you can go back and be like, Ooh, maybe I want to try to recreate some of these today and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a really nice inspiration book to, to have in your, your back pocket. Though you'd probably need some cargo pants because this is pretty big for most people's pockets. Number two, Intermission. Speaking of coming back strong with a good second photo book, we got, we got little glimpses of uh, a more mature Ikuta Erika in her first photo book, Tencho. But now they threw her out to the, the lewd lord himself. Nakamura Kazutaka to the Wolves, dude. Uh, this was shot in New York City. We all we all ranked this book fairly high with myself and Boy both giving it 46 and Josh giving it the number one spot for his list with 49 points. Yeah, I just really enjoyed the vibes you got with New York, even though this was shot in the same photo like location as Nana Means. It definitely has very different feels. Like there's a lot of variety in what you see from Ikuta Erika in this photo book. Um, you get very cute Ikuta, you get very more mature, even sexy Ikuta, which I would normally be very weirded out by just based on her personality. But the the way Nakamura Kazukataka shoots it, it's very believable. Yeah, very aesthetic. Yeah, I think that's one thing about the photo book. It's like, it's so much his style, but I feel like he does like slightly different things, goes to a little bit more locations, goes for a different feeling. That I feel like this stands out for me. That's why I place it as number one. And plus the lighting is so good in it. Now, it's time for some honorary mentions. My honorable mention is actually Yamashita's book. Yamashita Mizuki, third gen no Gizaka 46. Her book is called Wasu Renai Hito. I was really surprised. I really like a lot of the portrait. It's framed very well and the colors are nice. It's a little sexy, you know? And so, yeah, that's my honorable mention. All right, now for my pick, I picked Ito Marika's photo book. Now, this is actually number three on my list. I think this photo book is so much to the personality of Ito Marika. Like the approach she has of this artistic slash fashion is just amazing. And looking at different series that are in here, like there's a series where she's at a fish shop. The colors in that are just gorgeous, like, especially with the coordination of the wardrobe. And there's a series with her at an old apartment that's all messy. And just the juxtaposition between her and the apartment and her trying to live in the environment, I feel like just tells an amazing story. So I really recommend this photo book. And my honorary mention is actually gonna be 
the Hatsumori Baymars book from Nogizaka 46, Kimito Itanatsu. Okay, obviously I really like the drama too, which is uh, probably part my, of my bias. But also, it's like a very great piece of memorabilia, I guess you could say, because it's a lot of behind the scenes photos from when they shot the, the show, um, as well as there's some really nice individual photos as well. If we're going on vibe, this one actually goes up really high on, for me personally. Number one, Passapoto. This is the highest selling photo book ever. It was released back in 2017 and still continues to sell to this day. It was shot in LA and San Diego. <laughs> That's where we are. And in fact, we even went to some of the locations that we made a video together. That's the first time we met up, in fact. So I think this photo book really holds a special memory for us. I was actually going to say that as well. That's why it's ranked up so high for me. Not just for the memories of my end, but for the memories of my bros. Oh. Obviously, this was shot by Nakamura Kazutaka. And as far as, I, as points go, I gave it the top spot with 49. But Jimmy and Josh gave it number two with 48. I really like Nakamura Kazutaka's style. It's a very soft kind of look to the photos. So it's very nice. It complements my end. I especially really like the second half of this photo book. Like I feel like the indoor shots and everything are like really well lit. The composition is good. The posing is good. I think everything was just together a great combination. And that's why I think it's the best selling photo book. It's the only book that young boys could show to girls and make more friends from it. <laughs> just imagine like these kids in high school, they bought Passport and like all the girls in the class are like, oh my God, can I look at it? <laughs> <laughs> so that has been our, our, our top 10. If you guys are curious about our individual list, we'll post it right now. Yeah, if you guys have your own top 10 list that you want to share with us, make sure you let us know. Drop it down in the comments down below. Be more than happy to talk about it. Who do you feel deserved to be on our top 10 that didn't make it? Or who do you think uh, was on here that didn't deserve to be? We're always down for some discussion. But if you guys are interested in the Sakamichi series groups, maybe seeing some of these photos, you're like, hmm, want to know more about these young ladies. Uh, we talk about them every Tuesday live on our podcast. Um, you can follow us at twitch.tv slope club to, uh, to, to, to watch that. Check it out. Or you can always watch it here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Hit that notification bell so you know when a new video is coming out. And we'll, get, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.